It was one of the honors of my career to be able to walk into the 60 Center Street courthouse in New York City and try the first case against Johnson & Johnson in New York City involving mesothelioma. And the jury came back with $325 million, was the largest verdict in a mesothelioma case in the history of the United States. The scent, the fragrance of Johnson's baby powder is the most recognized scent in the world. They've studied it. They're proud of it. They boast about it internally. And yet it's that scent which lured people to use it thinking that it was safe. And yet in their files is the damning proof that it wasn't. Johnson & Johnson was doing testing on its talc going back to the late 1950s, showing asbestos minerals in their products and in their own documents, in their own talc samples, are showing fibrous tremolite, which the evidence showed is asbestos. And this went on for more than 50 years. When I started suing someone like Johnson & Johnson or the other companies that make cosmetic talc was nowhere on the radar. And our firm has really been groundbreaking in that. And that's amazing, you know? There are babies not being exposed to poison because of our work.